This is ink. Toshitsugo Okabe is kneading it until it's as soft as a rice cake. Ever wonder how your morning coffee or toothpaste magically appears, ready for action? We usually don't think much about the stuff that makes our daily routine tick, but there's a cool backstory behind it all. Want to discover the awesome journeys these items take from raw materials to your daily life? Join us as we uncover the remarkable tales behind 20 everyday items you use every day and don't know how they're made. Number 20. Paper. The narrative of paper, an integral aspect of our daily lives, unfolds in the vast expanses of forests. Trees like pine, spruce, and eucalyptus, abundant in cellulose, the pivotal component of paper, are carefully harvested. At the mill, the wood undergoes a process called pulping, where it is chipped into small fragments and then subjected to chemical treatment. This pulping process breaks down the wood, liberating cellulose fibers, resulting in a slurry of fibers in water, which is subsequently cleaned and bleached to create a white, fluffy mass. Notably, this pulp can also be derived from recycled paper, aligning with efforts toward environmental sustainability. The next phase involves the paper-making machine, a remarkable invention. The pulp is evenly spread across a broad, moving screen, facilitating the drainage of water. As the pulp advances on the screen, it intertwines, forming a continuous sheet. The paper is then pressed and dried, removing additional water and ensuring a smooth surface. Some papers receive coatings to enhance printability or brightness, Ultimately, the finished paper is wound onto large rolls or cut into sheets, ready for a myriad of applications, ranging from writing to packaging. This entire process exemplifies human ingenuity, transforming natural resources into a versatile and essential product. Number 19. Ink. This is ink. Toshitsugo Okabe is kneading it until it's as soft as a rice cake. Making ink is a fascinating process that involves a careful combination of ingredients to achieve the desired color, consistency, and performance. The primary components of ink are pigments or dyes, water, and various chemicals. The first step in making ink is selecting the pigments or dyes. Pigments are solid colored particles, while dyes are usually liquid and can penetrate materials. These coloring agents determine the ink's final hue. Pigments are often chosen for their stability and vividness, while dyes offer a broader color spectrum. Once the pigments or dyes are selected, they are mixed with water to create a base. The water serves as a carrier for the coloring agents and helps achieve the desired viscosity. Controlling the amount of water is crucial in determining whether the ink will be thin or thick. To enhance the ink's performance, various chemicals are added. These may include thickeners to control consistency, surfactants to improve flow, and stabilizers to prevent separation or settling of pigments. These additives contribute to the ink's overall stability, making it suitable for writing or printing applications. Ink formulations can vary significantly depending on the intended use. For instance, printer ink requires precise color reproduction and quick drying, while calligraphy ink may focus on smooth flow and adherence to various surfaces. The next step involves milling the ingredients. Milling is the process of grinding and dispersing the pigments or dyes evenly throughout the ink base. This step is crucial for achieving a uniform color and preventing clumping. Traditional methods involve using a three-roll mill, where the ink is passed through three rollers to break down pigment particles and ensure a smooth consistency. After milling, the ink undergoes testing to assess its color accuracy viscosity, and other performance characteristics. Adjustments can be made at this stage to fine-tune the formulation. Once the ink meets quality standards, it is packaged for distribution. The final product may come in various forms, such as bottled ink for fountain pens, cartridges for printers, or tubes for artists. Number 18. Smartphones. Smartphones, a harmonious blend of technology and art, commence their existence in a realm of complex engineering. At their core resides the processor, a remarkable feat of microelectronics meticulously constructed from refined silicon, a ubiquitous element elevated to exceptional purity. Layers of minuscule transistors, acting as microscopic switches, intricately control the flow of electricity, 
etched onto the silicon canvas, thus forming the device's cognitive powerhouse. Encircling this central processor, a constellation of components converges. Memory chips dutifully store your data, while sensors such as accelerometers and gyroscopes contribute additional functionalities. Providing the lifeblood of power, the battery completes this assembly, each component a testament to advanced manufacturing techniques, often incorporating nanotechnology. The smartphone's body, typically crafted from metal or plastic, is an embodiment of both aesthetics and durability. The screen, a pivotal feature, is typically fashioned from toughened glass or synthetic sapphire to withstand scratches. The meticulous assembly of these components unfolds as a precise choreography orchestrated by sophisticated robots and skilled workers. The software, the soul of the device, is then seamlessly installed, uniting the hardware into a user-friendly interface. In your grasp lies more than just a phone. It embodies a tribute to human ingenuity, a device that not only connects, informs, and entertains, but does so with the orchestrated harmony of science and engineering. Number 17. Yogurt Yogurt, a popular dairy product, undergoes a straightforward industrial process that transforms milk into its creamy and tangy form. The process typically begins with high-quality milk, usually from cows. Firstly, the milk is heated to a specific temperature to eliminate harmful bacteria and ensure a clean starting point. Once heated, beneficial bacteria cultures, specifically Lactobacillus bulgaricus and Streptococcus thermophilus, are introduced into the milk. These bacteria kickstart the fermentation process. As the bacteria consume the lactose in the milk, they produce lactic acid. This acid causes the milk proteins to coagulate, resulting in the thickening of the liquid. The bacteria also contribute to the distinctive flavor of yogurt. The fermentation process is carefully monitored to achieve the desired consistency and taste. After fermentation, the yogurt is cooled to halt the bacterial activity. At this point, additional ingredients such as sweeteners, flavorings, or fruit may be added to enhance the taste. The final product is then packaged into containers, ready for distribution and consumption. The industrial production of yogurt requires precision in temperature control, sanitation, and timing to ensure a consistent and high-quality end product. Modern technology and automation play crucial roles in maintaining these parameters throughout the process. From the initial milk pasteurization to the careful balance of bacteria cultures, the industrial production of yogurt combines science and craftsmanship to deliver the familiar and beloved dairy product found in stores worldwide. Number 16. Jeans Jeans, recognized as an iconic fashion essential, commence their journey as cotton plants. Following the harvesting stage, the cotton undergoes a transformation into yarn, subsequently dyed with indigo, the traditional choice for the timeless classic blue jean color. While alternative colors are viable, the yarn is skillfully woven into denim, a robust and enduring fabric. The weaving process is pivotal, typically employing a twill pattern that imparts the distinctive diagonal ribbing characteristic of denim, enhancing its durability and unique texture. Upon completion of the fabric, it undergoes precision cutting into patterns tailored for various styles and sizes. These cut pieces are meticulously sewn together, demanding craftsmanship to ensure sturdy seams and a flawless fit. Jeans frequently undergo treatments to achieve diverse appearances. Techniques such as stonewashing, distressing, or acid washing contribute to each pair's individualized look, ranging from sleek and dark to worn and faded. The culmination of this intricate process results in a pair of jeans that transcends mere clothing, emerging as a canvas of artistry and engineering. Jeans epitomize a fusion of practicality and fashion representing a garment that has withstood the test of time and evolving trends. Number 15. Toothpaste Toothpaste is crafted through a precise process that involves blending various components to create the familiar oral care product. The primary ingredients include abrasives, fluoride, and flavorings. Initially, a mixture of abrasives, which can include substances like silica or calcium carbonate, is combined to provide the cleaning and polishing effect on teeth. Fluoride, a crucial component for dental health, is then added to strengthen tooth enamel and prevent cavities. 
The next step involves incorporating flavorings to enhance the taste and encourage regular use. Common flavors include mint or spearmint, contributing to the refreshing sensation during brushing. Additionally, sweeteners may be added to improve the overall taste. The combination of these ingredients is thoroughly mixed to ensure a uniform texture and taste throughout the toothpaste. Once the formulation is complete, the toothpaste is often subjected to quality control checks to guarantee its efficacy and safety. These checks may involve testing the product's consistency, fluoride content, and flavor intensity. Following successful quality assurance, the toothpaste is packaged into tubes or containers ready for distribution and use by consumers. Overall, the toothpaste making process combines science and consumer preferences to create a product that promotes oral hygiene and leaves a pleasant aftertaste. Number 14. Chewing Gum Chewing gum is crafted through a multi-step process that transforms basic ingredients into the familiar, chewable product. The primary components are the gum base, sweeteners, and flavorings. Firstly, the gum base is created by melting and refining natural latex or synthetic materials like butadian-based polymers. This forms a pliable, elastic substance that serves as the core of the gum. Next, sweeteners are added for taste. These can include sugar, high fructose corn syrup, or artificial sweeteners. The sweeteners are blended with the gum base, creating a uniform mixture. Flavorings are then introduced to give the gum its distinctive taste. These can range from mint and fruit flavors to more exotic options. The flavorings are thoroughly integrated into the gum base and sweetener mixture. The entire blend is then kneaded and rolled into thin sheets. These sheets are cooled and cut into small individual pieces. To prevent sticking, an anti-adhesive substance like powdered sugar or cornstarch is often applied. The individual pieces are shaped and coated with a final dusting of powdered sugar or a similar substance to prevent sticking during packaging. Finally, the gum is packaged and distributed for consumption. This comprehensive process ensures that each piece of chewing gum delivers a consistent blend of gum base, sweeteners, and flavors providing the enjoyable and refreshing experience that people associate with chewing gum. Number 13. Plastic Bottles Plastic bottles, which have become an integral part of our daily lives, originate as raw plastic pellets. These pellets, derived from petrochemicals like polyethylene terephthalate, are renowned for their strength and versatility. The manufacturing journey of a plastic bottle involves a meticulous process known as blow molding. In this technique, the plastic pellets undergo a transformation into the familiar bottle shape. The intricate blow molding process begins by melting the plastic pellets, followed by injecting the molten plastic into a mold. Subsequently, air is blown into the mold, causing the plastic to expand and conform to the mold's contours. Once the bottles take shape, they are rapidly cooled and ejected from the mold, retaining their hardened form. Some plastic bottles undergo additional treatments, such as UV protection to shield against sunlight-induced degradation, or the incorporation of barriers for enhanced containment of specific liquids. Post-molding, each bottle undergoes rigorous quality inspections to ensure it is free from defects and safe for use. Following this scrutiny, the bottles are labeled and dispatched to various industries, ready to be filled with beverages, household cleaners, or personal care products. Number 12. Coffee. The beloved elixir of the morning rush, coffee, embarks on its journey from a humble cherry on a coffee plant. In tropical countries, skilled hands painstakingly handpick these cherries, ensuring only the ripest ones are chosen for the next steps. The extraction of beans from these cherries can occur through either a dry method, involving sun drying, or a wet method that includes fermenting and washing the beans. Following this, a meticulous drying process is implemented to reduce the moisture content to the ideal level. The true magic unfolds during the roasting stage, where green beans are transformed into aromatic brown ones. This delicate art not only imparts the characteristic flavor, color, and aroma to the coffee, but also involves heating the beans at high temperatures until they crack and expand. The roasted beans are then ground to a specific coarseness, tailored to the brewing method, whether it's a quick espresso shot or a leisurely French press. Through the brewing process, the ground coffee extracts its rich flavors and aromas, culminating in the creation of a cup of coffee. 
This end product is the result of an intricate journey spanning continents and the craftsmanship of individuals devoted to kickstarting your day with the perfect cup. Number 11. Chocolate. Chocolate, a beloved treat cherished worldwide, has a fascinating journey that begins with the humble cocoa bean. Harvested from the fruit of cocoa trees, these beans undergo a meticulous process to transform into the delectable treat we all enjoy. The journey commences with fermentation, a vital step lasting several days that enhances the bean's flavor profile. Following fermentation, the beans are carefully dried and then subjected to roasting, a process that imparts depth and richness to the chocolate. Once roasted, the beans are cracked to separate the coveted nibs from their shells. The nibs, considered the essence of chocolate, are then ground into a thick paste known as chocolate liquor. This versatile liquor serves as the foundation for further processing, leading to the creation of cocoa solids and cocoa butter. In the production of dark chocolate, a blend of cocoa solids and sugar is carefully concocted, while milk chocolate incorporates milk powder for a creamy texture. An intricate step in chocolate making is conching, a prolonged process involving the meticulous combination of heat and mixing. Conching plays a pivotal role in refining the texture and flavor of the chocolate, resulting in a smooth consistency that is irresistible. Following conching, the chocolate undergoes tempering, a delicate process of heating and cooling that stabilizes the cocoa butter crystals, giving the chocolate its characteristic snap and velvety texture. The final steps involve molding the chocolate into various shapes or combining it with additional ingredients such as nuts or fruit. This meticulous fusion of science and art transforms bitter cocoa beans into the sweet indulgence that captivates our taste buds, a harmonious symphony resulting in the delightful chocolate bars we know and love. Number 10. Glass. Glass, a material celebrated for its clarity and strength, originates from a simple yet abundant raw material, silica sand combined with soda ash and limestone. The production journey commences with the melting of sand at high temperatures in a furnace, this intense heat transforms the raw materials into a molten state, rendering them homogeneous and free from impurities. Once in a molten state, the glass is skillfully shaped into various forms, ranging from bottles to window panes, utilizing techniques such as blowing, pressing, or drawing. This stage also presents the opportunity to infuse the glass with color by incorporating metal oxides broadening its applications in both decorative and functional realms. Following shaping, the glass undergoes an annealing process wherein it is slowly cooled. This meticulous cooling procedure is essential for relieving internal stresses within the glass, ensuring its durability and resistance to breakage. Glass plays an indispensable role in everyday life and advanced technologies, serving as a versatile component in construction, design, and various industries. Its transparent nature allows for the transmission of light, making it an ideal material for windows, eyewear, and optical instruments. Additionally, its robust properties contribute to its use in advanced technologies, such as fiber optics and electronic displays. Number 9. Bread. Bread, a foundational food in many cultures, embarks on its culinary journey with the harmonious blending of four essential ingredients, flour, water, yeast, and salt. The flour, predominantly derived from wheat, is meticulously combined with water to create a cohesive dough. The introduction of yeast, a crucial component, catalyzes a transformative process. This microorganism ferments the sugars within the flour, generating carbon dioxide gas. These effervescent gas bubbles permeate the dough, instigating its ascent and bestowing upon bread its characteristic porous texture. The addition of salt not only enhances the flavor, but also plays a pivotal role in regulating yeast activity. Following this amalgamation, the dough undergoes the meticulous process of kneading. This action cultivates gluten, the protein responsible for providing bread with its structural integrity and elastic nature. The dough then experiences a period of rest, known as proofing, during which the yeast continues its fermentation, prompting the dough to expand further. Once proofed, the dough is meticulously shaped into loaves or various forms and subjected to the transformative heat of an oven. The high temperature causes the dough to rise even more, 
finalizing its structure. While the crust forms and acquires a golden hue through the Maillard reaction, a chemical interplay between amino acids and reducing sugars. Number 8. Medicines The journey of medicines, crucial in the battle against illness, commences with the discovery and development of active pharmaceutical ingredients. These APIs, the backbone of therapeutic efficacy, undergo meticulous identification through extensive research and testing, a process that often spans years to attain perfection. Once an API is crafted, it is judiciously combined with excipients, substances aiding in drug delivery, to form the final medicinal product. The formulation process plays a pivotal role in ensuring the safety, effectiveness, and stability of the medicine. This intricate process is subject to rigorous quality control standards throughout manufacturing. This encompasses verifying the correct dosage, purity, and consistency of the product, adhering to strict regulatory guidelines. The culmination of this process involves the meticulous packaging and labeling of medicines. Each package imparts crucial information, including usage instructions and potential side effects. This stage is indispensable for safeguarding patient well-being and facilitating effective treatment. From the controlled environment of research labs to the accessible shelves of pharmacies, medicines epitomize a pinnacle of scientific achievement. A harmonious blend of chemistry, biology, and pharmacology collaborates to produce these therapeutic agents, contributing significantly to the continuous endeavor to heal and enhance lives. Number 7. Tires Tires, often unsung heroes of transportation, is a meticulous blend of natural and synthetic rubber, augmented by fillers such as carbon black and silica. This amalgamation yields a compound that embodies durability, flexibility, and grip. The tire's structural integrity is fortified through the incorporation of steel and fabric cords, endowing it with robust strength and stability. These cords are intricately embedded into the rubber in layered arrangements known as plies, shaping the tire and forming the basis for its distinctive tread pattern. The tire's tread, the crucial contact point with the road, undergoes a meticulous design process to optimize traction, water dispersion, and wear resistance. This intricate design encompasses a complex arrangement of grooves and sipes, each playing a specific role in enhancing the tire's performance under diverse driving conditions. Vulcanization marks the subsequent pivotal phase, where the tire is subjected to heat and pressure, causing the rubber to cure and acquire elasticity. This transformative process imparts the tire with its final shape and distinctive properties. Rigorous inspections follow, ensuring each tire is devoid of defects, thereby prioritizing safety and quality. Whether destined for a car, bike, or plane, tires exemplify a remarkable feat of engineering. Striking a delicate balance between strength, flexibility, and durability, these technological marvels facilitate smooth and secure transportation, underscoring their indispensable role in keeping us moving seamlessly and safely. Number 6. T. T a beverage deeply rooted in history and tradition, embarks on its fascinating journey within lush plantations. The meticulous harvesting of camellia census leaves sets the stage for the diverse range of tea varieties we enjoy today. The processing methods employed play a pivotal role in determining the type of tea, black, green, or oolong. Black tea, known for its robust flavor, undergoes full oxidation, while green tea leaves are swiftly heated to prevent oxidation, preserving their vibrant color and delicate taste. Oolong tea strikes a harmonious balance with partial oxidation, providing a nuanced profile that sits between the boldness of black tea and the freshness of green tea. Subsequently, the leaves are skillfully dried and rolled, either by hand or machine, breaking down cell walls to release essential oils crucial in shaping the tea's distinctive flavor and aroma. Post-rolling, the tea undergoes further drying to halt the oxidation process and stabilize the product, ensuring a consistent and high-quality brew. Some teas, like the aromatic Earl Grey, receive an extra infusion of flavors such as bergamot oil, elevating the sensory experience. The final product is meticulously packed to safeguard its freshness and aromatic richness. From a simple leaf to a complex brew, tea encapsulates a world of flavors and traditions, 
offering a comforting and diverse experience with every sip. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Have you wondered how those crunchy delights that often grace our breakfast tables are made? You see, the process starts in vast fields where humble grains like corn, wheat, and rice grow under the sun. Once these grains are ripe for the picking, they go through a bit of a spa day, getting cleaned up and having their moisture adjusted to just the right level. Now comes the exciting part. These grains can take two paths. They can either be rolled flat like a pancake or puffed up under some serious pressure. The rolled ones become flakes, while the puffed ones turn into these airy light shapes. Imagine the magic of heated pressure causing grains to puff up like a balloon. After this, it's time for a sweet makeover. The flakes or puffs get mixed with sweeteners like honey or chocolate, and then they take a trip to the oven to become perfectly crispy. This oven adventure caramelizes the sugars, giving our cereal that tempting golden color and a satisfying crunch. But hold on, we're not done yet. Some cereals get a boost of nutrition by adding vitamins and minerals. It's like giving them a superhero upgrade, making them even more valuable in our daily diets. Now let's talk about packaging. The grand finale. The crispy cereal is sealed up in bags to keep it fresh, and then it's boxed up. These boxes are more than just containers. They're like canvases showcasing vibrant designs and catchy messages, trying to win us over as consumers. So from the quiet fields to the bustling breakfast table, these cereals go through an amazing transformation. They're not just a quick and easy meal. They're the result of some serious agricultural and food science, all tailored to make our taste buds happy and meet our nutritional needs. Quite a journey for those little grains. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Number five, nail polish. Nail polish, a fundamental element in the world of cosmetics, begins with a combination of film-forming agents, solvents, and plasticizers. These components create the foundation of the polish, ensuring the right texture and adherence to the nails. Pigments and dyes are then introduced to the mixture, providing a spectrum of colors ranging from subtle nudes to vibrant reds. Pearlescent substances may also be included for shimmering effects. The chemistry behind nail polish involves a delicate balance. Solvents maintain the polish in a liquid state within the bottle, but evaporate quickly upon application, leaving a smooth and even coat. Plasticizers contribute flexibility, preventing the polish from cracking, while film formers ensure durability and a glossy finish. Advancements in the field have given rise to different types of nail polishes, such as quick-dry formulas and long-lasting gel polishes that cure under UV light. The end result is a fusion of science and art encapsulated in a small bottle containing a myriad of colors and textures. This transformative product is poised to turn nails into fashionable statements. Nail polish not only introduces a burst of color into our lives, but also highlights the captivating intersection of chemistry and beauty. Number 4. Cheese Cheese, a delightful treat for the palate, begins with milk sourced from cows, goats, or sheep. The initial step involves pasteurizing the milk to eliminate harmful bacteria. Cultures are then added to kickstart the fermentation process. Following this, rennet, an enzyme, is introduced to coagulate the milk, leading to the separation of curds and whey. The curds, which form the basis of cheese, undergo a process of cutting, heating, and stirring, influencing the texture and flavor of the cheese. These curds are pressed into molds to give the cheese its shape, expelling excess whey. Aging, or affinage, is a pivotal stage where the cheese is stored under controlled conditions. This allows the development of the unique flavor and texture that characterizes each type of cheese. The aging duration can vary from a few weeks to several years. Throughout the aging process, Various techniques such as washing, brushing, or turning the cheese are employed, contributing to the final character of the cheese. Additional elements like herbs, spices, or molds may be incorporated to introduce a variety of flavors. Cheese making is a delicate fusion of science and art, an ancient craft that transforms a simple ingredient into an array of forms and flavors, each with its own distinct personality. It is truly a culinary art, aged to perfection. Number three, sunglasses. Sunglasses, more than a mere fashion statement, 
result from a blend of intricate design and material science. The journey commences with the lenses, often crafted from polycarbonate, a prized material known for its durability and UV protection. These lenses undergo precise cutting and shaping to ensure clear vision and a snug fit within the frame. The frames, crafted from materials such as plastic, metal, or even exotic substances like wood or bone, are designed for both style and functionality. Advanced technologies are employed to make them lightweight, yet sturdy and comfortable for extended wear. Coatings play a crucial role in enhancing the effectiveness of sunglasses. Anti-reflective coatings diminish glare, while polarized lenses filter out horizontal light, reducing eye strain and improving visual clarity. Tinting and UV blocking treatments are also applied to safeguard the eyes from harmful rays. Each pair of sunglasses undergoes rigorous quality checks, ensuring they meet safety and health standards. The final product not only shields your eyes from the sun, but also embodies the culmination of fashion, engineering and material innovation. Number 2. Wine Wine, a beverage with a rich history of celebration, begins its journey in carefully tended vineyards where grapes are cultivated and harvested. The type of grape, the climate, and the soil, collectively known as terroir, significantly influence the flavor of the wine. After harvesting, the grapes are crushed to release their juice. In the case of white wine, the skins are removed, while for red wine, they are retained to impart color and tannins. Yeast is then introduced to the juice, initiating the fermentation process. During fermentation, yeast consumes the sugars in the grape juice, converting them into alcohol and carbon dioxide. This process can take anywhere from a few weeks to several months, depending on the desired style of wine. The wine is subsequently aged, often in oak barrels, where it develops complexity and depth. This aging period varies from a few months to several years. The final step is bottling, where the wine is sealed and left to mature further. Some wines are enjoyed when young, while others are cherished for their aging potential. Winemaking is an artful blend of science and tradition, transforming simple grapes into a symphony of flavors. Number 1. Batteries The often overlooked powerhouses of the modern world start with the assembly of their primary components, an anode, cathode, and electrolyte. The anode and cathode, typically made from materials like lithium, nickel, or lead, facilitate the flow of electrons. The electrolyte, a chemical medium, enables ions to move between the anode and cathode, generating an electrical current. In a battery, the chemical reactions at the anode and cathode store and release energy. The design and materials used vary depending on the battery type, ranging from disposable alkaline batteries to rechargeable lithium-ion ones. The manufacturing process is meticulous, ensuring precision and safety, as mishandling these materials can pose hazards. Once assembled, batteries are encased in protective housings, often made from metal or durable plastic. Each battery undergoes rigorous testing for capacity, lifespan, and safety before it powers anything from remote controls to electric vehicles. Batteries embody a blend of chemistry and engineering, quietly powering our lives one electron at a time. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.